In this video, we're going to complete example three. And it says that Jade borrows $4,600 from a friend and promises to pay back the total amount, including interest in three years. They agree to interest being charged at 3.5% per annum, compounded fortnightly this time. I'll underline that. This will be different because we're going to do it fortnightly. It then says, how much does Jade need to pay her friend after the three years have passed? All right, so let's start with the present value, which is going to be $4,600. So we're going to be using our compound interest formula in the middle up here. Next, we'll calculate the interest rate. Ah, now the interest rate is 3.5% per annum, but if we want it to be done fortnightly, we need to divide this by 26. So bringing our calculator up, uh, 3.5 divide 26 gives us this really nasty decimal. So we don't want to write this nasty decimal down. Instead, what we can do is we can write it as a fraction. So we'll write it as 3.5 over 26, which is the same as dividing it by 26. So this is our interest rate per fortnight. Okay, remembering that we need to take the interest rate and we need to divide it by 100. Okay, uh, so to do this, what we can do instead of dividing by 100, you can times it by 1 over 100, which is the same is dividing by 100 and when you do that you're actually going to get 3.5 over 2600 so essentially what we've done is we've taken our interest rate R and rather than writing it down as this really long and nasty decimal we've written it down as a fraction which is just going to make your life a, a little bit easy, easier later on Okay, we also need to find N, the number of time periods, which they said is three years. Now we're doing it fortnightly, so we need to times our three years by 26, 26 fortnights in a year. Bringing up our calculator, 3 times 26 gives us 78. Okay, so we've got all the values we need to plug into the formula. Let's take our formula, FV equals PV bracket 1 plus r to the power of n. So our present value was $4,600, the amount borrowed. And r is this fraction, 3.5 over 2,600. And we're going to put this to the power of n, or 78. So all we need to do now is use our calculator just to work it out. So 4,600 times bracket 1 plus 3.5. I'm going to use divide instead of the fraction button. It's perfectly fine to do that. Close our brackets and put it to the power of 78 equals. And we get $5,108 and I'll round it to 91 cents. $5,108.91 cents. And that's the amount that Jade needs to pay her friend after the three years have passed. So you can see some interest has accrued here. It was originally $4,600. So it's almost a bit over $500 in interest here. Anyway, that concludes our video on example three. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.